Diphenhydramine is a first-generation antihistamine possessing anticholinergic, antitussive, antiemetic, and sedative properties that is mainly used to treat allergies. It is also used in the management of drug-induced Parkinsonism and other extrapyramidal symptoms. The drug has a strong hypnotic effect and is FDA approved as a non-prescription sleep aid, especially in the form of diphenhydramine citrate. It is produced and marketed under the trade name Benadryl by McNeil PPC in the US, Canada and South Africa. It is also available as a generic or store brand medication. Medical Uses Diphenhydramine is a first-generation antihistamine used to treat a number of conditions including allergic symptoms and itchiness, the common cold, insomnia, motion sickness, and extrapyramidal symptoms. Diphenhydramine is significantly more potent in treatment of allergies than a newer generation of antihistamines. As a consequence, it is frequently used when an allergic reaction requires fast, effective reversal of a massive histamine release. Diphenhydramine is available as an over-the-counter drug or prescription-only solution for injection. Injectable diphenhydramine can be used for life-threatening reactions to allergens such as bee stings, peanuts, or latex, as an adjunct to epinephrine. As a potent antagonist to acetylcholine in muscarinic receptors, diphenhydramine is used to treat Parkinson's disease like extrapyramidal symptoms caused by antipsychotics. The muscarinic receptor antagonism leads to correction of levels of dopamine, the neurotransmitter responsible for control of motor function in the brain, similar to the effect of other antimuscarinic agents such as atropin. Diphenhydramine can cause strong sedation and has also been used as an anxiolytic as a result. It has also proven to have mild anti-obsessive effects in one study researching OCD medication. Originally intended to act as a control medication, it in fact produced a significant decrement in OCD symptoms. Because of these sedative properties, diphenhydramine is widely used in non-prescription sleep aids for insomnia. The maximum recommended dose is 50 mg, as mandated by the US FDA. The drug is an ingredient in several products sold as sleep aids either alone or in combination with other ingredients such as astaminophen. An example of the latter is Tylenol PM. Examples of products having diphenhydramine as the only active ingredient include Unizom, Tylenol Simply Sleep, Nitol, Zwill, and Suminex. Tolerance against the sedating effect of diphenhydramine builds very quickly. After three days of use at the common dosage, it is no more effective than a placebo. Diphenhydramine can cause minor psychological dependence when used improperly. It does not alter sleep stages 3 to 4 or REM sleep. Diphenhydramine also has antiemetic properties, which make it useful in treating the nausea that occurs in motion sickness. As it causes marked sedation in many individuals, newer generation antihistamines, such as meclozine, may be preferred for antiemetic use. There are also topical formulations of diphenhydramine available, including creams, lotions, gels, and sprays. These are used to relieve itching, and have the advantage of causing much less systemic effects than oral forms. Diphenhydramine also has local anesthetic properties, and has been used as such in patients allergic to common local anesthetics like lidocaine. Various derivatives of diphenhydramine including the muscle relaxant orphenadrine and bromodiphenhydramine are used clinically and in research. Adverse effects, diphenhydramine is a potent anticholinergic agent. This activity is responsible for the side effects of dry mouth and throat, increased heart rate, pupil dilation, urinary retention, constipation, and, at high doses, hallucinations or delirium. Other side effects include motor impairment, flushed skin, blurred vision at knee point owing to lack of accommodation, abnormal sensitivity to bright light, sedation, difficulty concentrating, short-term memory loss, visual disturbances, irregular breathing, dizziness, irritability, itchy skin, confusion, increased body temperature, temporary erectile dysfunction, excitability, and, although it can be used to treat nausea, higher doses may cause vomiting. Some side effects, such as twitching, may be delayed until the drowsiness begins to cease and the person is in more of an awakening mode. Acute poisoning can be fatal. 
leading to cardiovascular collapse and death in a euro 18 hours, and in general is treated using a symptomatic and supportive approach. Diagnosis of toxicity is based on history and clinical presentation, and in general specific levels are not useful. There are several levels of evidence strongly indicating diphenhydrin can block the delayed rectifier potassium channel and, as a consequence, prolong the QT interval, leading to cardiac arrhythmias such as Tussaud's de points. There is no specific antidote for diphenhydrin toxicity, but the anticholinergic syndrome has been treated with fasostigmin for severe delirium or tachycardia. Benzodiazepines may be administered to decrease the likelihood of psychosis, agitation, and seizures in patients who are prone to these symptoms. Some patients have an allergic reaction to diphenhydrin in the form of hives. However, restlessness or ekathisia can also be a side effect made worse by increased levels of diphenhydrin, especially with recreational dosages. As diphenhydrin is extensively metabolized by the liver, caution should be exercised when giving the drug to individuals with hepatic impairment. Special populations Diphenhydrin is not recommended for patients older than 60 or children under the age of 6, unless a physician is consulted. These populations should be treated with second-generation antihistamines such as loratadine, desloratadine, fixafenidine, cetirizin, levocetirizin, and azlestine. Due to its strong anticholinergic effects, diphenhydrin is on the beers list of drugs to avoid in the elderly. Diphenhydrin is Category B in the FDA classification of drug safety during pregnancy. Diphenhydrin is also excreted in breast milk. Paradoxical reactions to diphenhydrin have been documented, in particular among children, and it may cause excitation instead of sedation. Topical diphenhydrin is sometimes used especially on patients in hospice. This use is without indication and topical diphenhydrin should not be used as treatment for nausea because research does not indicate that this therapy is more effective than alternatives. Diphenhydrin can exacerbate restless leg syndrome. Measurement in body fluids, diphenhydrin can be quantitated in blood, plasma, or serum. Gas chromatography with mass spectrometry can be used with electron ionization on full scan mode as a screening test. GC-MIS or GC-NDP can be used for quantification. Rapid urine drug screens using immunosays based on the principle of competitive binding may show false positive methadone results for patients having ingested diphenhydrin. Quantitation can be to use to monitor therapy, confirm a diagnosis of poisoning in hospitalized patients, provide evidence in an impaired driving arrest, or assist in a death investigation. Mechanism of action Diphenhydrin is an inverse agonist of the histamine H1 receptor. It is a member of the ethanolamine class of antihistaminic agents. By reversing the effects of histamine on the capillaries, it can reduce the intensity of allergic symptoms. Diphenhydrin also crosses the blood euro brain barrier and antagonizes the H1 receptors centrally. Its effects on central H1 receptors cause drowsiness. Like many other first generation antihistamines, Diphenhydrin is also a potent antimuscarinic and, as such, at high doses can cause anticholinergic syndrome. The utility of diphenhydrin as an anti-Parkinson agent is the result of its blocking properties on the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors in the brain. Diphenhydrin also acts as an intracellular sodium channel blocker, which is responsible for its actions as a local anesthetic. Diphenhydrin has also been shown to inhibit the reuptake of serotonin. Diphenhydrin has been shown to be a potentiator of analgesia induced by morphine, but not by endogenous opioids, in rats. Pharmacokinetics, oral bioavailability of diphenhydrin is in the range of 40 a euro 60% and peak plasma concentration occurs approximately 2 a euro 3 hours after administration. The primary route of metabolism is two successive demethylations of the tertiarium. The resulting primary ion is further oxidized to the carboxylic acid. The half-life is as short as 8 hours in children to 17 hours in the elderly. History, diphenhydrin was discovered in 1943 by George Rivesh, a former professor at the University of Cincinnati. In 1946, it became the first prescription antihistamine approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. 
diphenhydrin can be synthesized by a simple reaction of bromodiphenylmethane and 2 dimethylaminoethanol. The bromination of diphenylmethane is light induced. In the 1960s, diphenhydrin was found to inhibit reuptake of the neurotransmitter serotonin. This discovery led to a search for viable antidepressants with similar structures and fewer side effects, culminating in the invention of fluoxetine, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. A similar search had previously led to the synthesis of the first SSRI, zimelidin, from bromphenurin, also an antihistamine. Society and culture Diphenhydrin is sometimes used recreationally as a deliriant, or as a potentiator of alcohol, opiates, DXM and other depressants. Diphenhydrin is deemed to have limited abuse potential in the United States due to its potentially serious side effect profile and limited euphoric effects, and is not a controlled substance. Since 2002, the US FDA has required special labeling warning against use of multiple products that contain diphenhydrin. In some jurisdictions, diphenhydrin is often present in post-mortem specimens collected during investigation of sudden infant deaths. The drug may play a role in these events. Diphenhydrin is among prohibited and controlled substances in the Republic of Zambia, and travelers are advised not to bring the drug into the country. Several Americans have been detained by the Zambian Drug Enforcement Commission for possession of Benadryl and other over-the-counter medications containing diphenhydrin. Recreational use, diphenhydrin is sometimes used as a recreational drug, often by those without access to illegal drugs. It is used for its sedative properties and delirium-induced hallucinations. In many people it can produce a distinctive weak to moderate euphoria due to a rise in the dopamine, acetylcholine ratio in the CNS. A fourth use, perhaps the most common, and one which is used clinically, is to intensify the effects of opioids and to make supplies last longer by lowering opioid requirements for a given targeted objective. Diphenhydrin abuse may cause. See also, acrivastine, doxylamine, H1 antagonist, references. Further reading. External links, prescription information, Diphenhydrin University of Maryland Medical Center Medical References.